This is breaking news from the Fox 59 Newsroom. Breaking news developing right now. Two people shot and killed in the middle of a street in Brownsburg. I'm Fanchon Stinger. Good evening. And I'm Beer Shalad May in for Dan. So the call came out just a few hours ago. One witness telling us he witnessed an execution. We go live now to Brownsburg and Fox 59's Russ McQuaid is on the scene. Russ, what can you tell us about what Brownsburg happened police here? Police were still sorting out the clues when I spoke with them just about two hours ago. But since that time, I've talked to a witness and he says he called 911. The intersection of Grant and 56th Streets near the St. Malachi East Cemetery remains blocked off with emergency vehicles and other cars and SUVs that either belong to the witnesses or possibly even the victims. One man told me he was letting his dogs out in his backyard just down the street when he first heard the gunfire. And then I heard a guy yelling, no, 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 no. And so I ran over to the fence and looked over the fence and I... Uh, Saw a guy uh, with the like reddish, uh, or orangish red shirt, shorts. He looked uh, light complexed, dark hair, walking straight down the center of 56th with the gun out, handgun out. And I saw a guy, another white guy, running away from him on Grant. And I saw him shoot him several times. And then uh, I saw the guy drop to the ground. And then uh, the guy in the orangish red shirt walked over to him and put about three more bullets in him. Witness said he then watched the gunman chase another man around a nearby house, and that's when he spotted a man who he thinks was the first victim who was found a couple hundred feet away on 56th Street, closer to Green Street. Police told us multiple shots were fired, which is evident by the number of shell casings that were left behind. We're still awaiting a further update from Brownsburg Police. We have no word from them on whether or not they have the identities of the victims, whether or not they have a motive in this, or whether or not they have any suspects to this apparent double homicide. I'm Rose McQuaid reporting live from Brownsburg.